Hi, Mark Oswald. Welcome back to Heart, Home, and Soul. Uh, special guest with me this evening, I have Mr. Cody Lewis, who is president and founder of Knuckleheads. I should right. say Knucklehead Apparel. Knuckleheads Apparel. You don't want to be in charge of all the knuckleheads, <laughs> or, or maybe. Uh, so an exciting apparel company, and I guess, first of all, I'm just curious about the name. Sure, yeah. The name, uh, we started several years ago. Um, a group of friends and I all kind of found that we had different interests and different hobbies. And these hobbies kind of didn't really work together, you know. One might say that we were, there were some people that were into motorcycles and others that were into golf, and stereotypically, those don't really get along. But we didn't really believe that. So we were looking for our social niche and a kind of a group to hang out with, and we figured we'd make our own. So we came up with the name Knuckleheads, you know, based on all the <laughs> stuff we did, and uh, had some T-shirts made. And, um, you know, years later, the T-shirts get old, you throw them away, and the group kind of faded out, people get older, but... They faded out like the T-shirts. Kind of like the T-shirts, okay, right. Yeah, so uh, so it was time for some new shirts. Somebody asked us to make some new shirts. So we redesigned the logo a little bit, tagged on apparel to the end, and, and s launched it from there, and people loved it, so we kept it going. Good, good. And the, you're, you're based locally in the area. Yeah, yeah, right here in London area. I grew up in town, graduated right. from London area High School. So, so you, you've got uh, t-shirts and caps and golf shirts and the whole sweat, sweatshirts? Yes, whole sir. Thing. Yeah, casual apparel mostly and stuff that you can wear when you're playing your sports and you're getting out there and getting dirty. And so then from that, you're, you're springboarding into something, I've got to look it up here, Operation Adventure. Yeah. Let me just read to the audience. This is kind of your, your slogan or your purpose. We believe in change that the world can be better, that people can do more good. We believe in adventure, passion, and positivity. Do what you love. Don't judge and don't conform. Stereotypes need to be burned, and we're starting the fire. Pretty powerful for a young man to start a clothing company and then take off. So let's talk about Operation Adventure. Sure. So that what you read is kind of our, our company slogan and kind of our viewpoint as a whole. Um, we just don't believe in that you know, conforming or fitting into a certain demographic. And then uh, my buddy Brandon here and I met, and I kind of saw that there was a greater purpose for it, that we could do more with the company. Um, and really, that's what it's all about. If we're not helping other people, what, what are we doing, you know? So, so what I found was that there's this lack of opportunity for disabled adults to participate in, like, new and fun activities and, and maybe some new sports that they haven't tried or anything, just something that focused on fun and quality of life. So we started Operation Adventure, and that's our goal, just provide fun and new things and new friends and an outlet for these folks that they may not have had the opportunity to, mm -hmm. to, to, to do. Well, Brandon, we appreciate your stopping by. Thank you. So tell us some of the things you've been doing. What, what activities? Well, I've been, uh, I, like I went to Maine and I um, did um, jet skiing and water tubing. Whoa. Two and behind the boat. Yeah. You got to hang on, man. Yeah. It's okay. pretty fun. Good. It was wild. And uh, our first event, we're trying, you know, trying to plan our first event now. And our goal is to have like a, like a gym day just to kind of feel it out. Um, and dodgeball. Yep. You know, Brandon plays uh, Special Olympics basketball. So we're going to oh, get some, some gym activities in there. And we uh, just got a couple mountain bikes. So we're going to get into mountain biking and maybe build an event around that. Yep. Good. How can people support? So this is clearly a nonprofit. It's just kind of an offshoot. So of our business. company is not a nonprofit company. Our right. apparel company. This Operation Adventure is kind of a mission that we're starting within the company. Mm -hmm. um, but we we do need support. You know, we can't do it all uh, ourselves. Right. So there's a GoFundMe um, through our website. We okay, have a good. website um, that I think you said would would be in the credits. But right. uh, um, you can go to our website, our Facebook page, our Instagram. Social media is huge. So. Uh, if you go to that and, and look for Operation Adventure, you can find out everything you need to know. And your website is? www.knuckleheadsapparel.com. Okay. And then from there, you, they can get to uh, Operation Adventure. You can get ev Adventure. everywhere from there, yep. Terrific. Yeah. So what you, you mentioned before we went on camera, you've got dodgeball coming up? Yep. I'm looking forward to dodgeball and um, hopefully try new sports like golfing and stuff like that. And have you done dodgeball before? I uh, actually have. Um, when I was in high school, we had a, a club called the JLU. Okay. And we like for disability kids, like in the Haynes house. So we formed this um, thing called the JLU, just like us club. So we made events just sure. for kids. Good. Well, I appreciate you coming out today. Oh, thank you. And and your next steps to be a fashion model. You got the cap and the sweatshirt. <laughs> yep. You got it all going on. Right? Today, yeah. Yeah. There you go. You're a walking billboard. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Terrific. 
Well, thank you both for stopping by. Oh, Thanks for having welcome. us. Thank you, London Dairy, for watching. Go to, go to the credits. Uh, if you can donate time, uh, money, equipment that's needed uh, for Operation Adventure, I'm sure it would be appreciated. Thanks again for watching.